one, and a two, and a uno dos trace fabulous. Hello everyone, this is Sahara Drac, SCLegacy.com, and today I'm commentating a game from the ladder earlier this afternoon between myself and another Terran named Breezy on Jungle Basin. Um, I am really bad at TVT. Uh, let's just uh, let's just let's just put that out there right now. That is, I'm just friggin' awful because I refuse to make tanks most games. I won't make tanks. I won't do it. I know there's a way to win the matchup without them. I just can't find it. <laughs> and before you start linking me Day 9's Thor expand, yeah, eh, he did not. It, it's not too good against a, a, a tank contain. All right, let's just say that. Okay. Anyways. Um, so this game I decided to be really aggressive early and uh, just maybe get like one Thor. I, I took the ideas from his build and kind of uh, made it more tank proof and by tank proof I mean I made tanks myself. Um, basically I make like one Thor to deal with Banshee like I was my basic plan was one Thor per base no more and then make sure you have siege tanks because uh, his idea was transitioning to Mass Marauder, which is okay. But uh, even though Marauders quote unquote counter tanks, um, it can still be really hard to deal with. I mean, with even with four racks Marauder production, it's just it can get ugly, man. Or maybe I'm just not good enough. I don't know. But I I I go Thor's to block the Banshees, and then I go tank like tank Marine Marauder, basic junk. Um, and uh, that's after uh, after some early aggression, of course, which uh, we will see here. Um, I can show you just how effective being... I mean, just because your army isn't your ideal army at that point in the game does not mean that it can't be really deadly um, if you if you go and be aggressive with it. Um, you know, obviously on the other side of the coin, that it can be uh, quite detrimental to attack at the wrong time, but, um, you know, you need to figure out those timings and when, uh, based on what you scout, if your force can go do a lot of damage, you should not hang back and wait for the the better army or the best army you can think of, or or three more bases. You should go right away and do any damage you can because your window of opportunity can close very rapidly. So yeah, um, I was gonna do a commentary with. Uh, like TVTs I had been losing today because I lost a few but uh, basically it was that Thor expand thing with trying to go mass marauders just not working on maps like Metalopolis and uh, you know I decided to talk rather than that than show that talk about it and then talk about my solution and show that so that's what we're going to do and I haven't cracked a joke in like a minute and a half that is got to be some kind of record here comes a big gay SCV with stupid little pink pom-poms. Cocksucker. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this is like, uh, you know, my default. You gotta go to the default gay jokes. Um, yeah, so basic deal is make Marines, get, em, uh, get a factory out, get your second gas up about when the factory's halfway done, and then, uh, just make marines and get an armory up right away and make a Thor. Because people who rush who rash people who rush banshees can be real annoying. Yaki yeah, soba. And as you can see, um fortuitously enough fortuit fortuitously fortuit fortunately enough, uh the sky is going double starport. Um so he is going to be doing a banshee rush against me, so and uh, actually this is the first time I did this build, anyone went Banshees, and I had done it like 20 games in a row, and they just, they're like, no, nah, just tank Viking, you know, kill you. <laughs> so here's this force, um, just one at a time Marines coming out, while the army is going up, I made a Hellion, and then I'm just gonna go, like, see if I can do any damage with it, you know, I, I haven't scouted a ton, you know, I know he's walling off, so that's a bit discouraging, but, uh, I scan right here and I see he's moving stuff around and I see he's only got two marines and he's teching pretty hard with this uh, star four here so I know I know the time to strike is a no so that's what I'm gonna do um, move the marines up first I want that Hellion to be alive to shoot um, oh, wasn't the 
most optimal micro ever, but it was just two marines, so. Going to go ahead and burn down this uh, depot. In the meantime, uh, out comes the Thor, and immediately the tank and siege mode begins while I continue to pump marines. Um, here I am trying to get my Hellion in by the SUVs, but my marines are blocking. And see, this is this is tough for him, because, uh, you know, this many, this many marines will definitely take out a Banshee. He's trying to kite it. He's doing a pretty good job, but in the meantime, over here roasting SCVs. So, uh, yeah, focus down the Banshee, and I'm just going to do damage here. Um, while I was doing that, he did surround the uh, Hellion with SCVs. That's unfortunate, but I still did a good amount of damage, and he's still not mining. So, definite damage being done here. Slowing his Banshees a lot, killing one Banshee, damaging this one almost down to the red. And in the meantime, I am uh, I got this Thor here for protection, throwing out a turret just in case he got really fast cloak. It's a bit paranoid of me, but you know how it goes. And uh, I feel very comfortable now, so I'm just going to continue making Marines, and I decide to expand, because that's what you do when you're comfortable, is expand. Always remember that. It's, it's so crucial. And, uh, yeah. Um, what did I do today? I went and bought a Sting cassette. <laughs> that's a true story. Uh, my car has a tape deck in it. So, I bought a Sting tape. Don't make fun of me, bro. Just come on. Let me have let me have my preferences. Okay, I know it's not the coolest musical artist in the world, but you know, as I get older, my tastes evolve or de evolve, I guess. So here's the Banshees. They thought they were gonna have a field day, but of course the Thor immediately fires down on the one that he sh really should have repaired that, but so the Thor gets a free kill on the Banshee and he's just gonna go <laughs> uh, fuck this. I'm <laughs> going home. Stupid banshees. So yeah, I don't like banshees, and uh, so this is my modified day nine Thor expand build. As you can see, I'm throwing down two raxes. I'm still gonna use marauders, but uh, his thing was like five raxes and just pure marauder, you know. And uh, I just siege tanks provide such cool security, you know. Um, they do reduce your mobility, obviously, but. Uh, Usually at this point in the game without tanks, um, if they didn't Banshee Rush like this guy, I am getting tank contained myself, and my Marauders just can't quite, because the Vikings and the Vision, and the Hey, and the Haven, and the God. So, you know, this is why I, I prefer this. It's just a style thing. It just works better for me. Um, I did do this game, did do this strat a couple more times, and it was very effective. Um, just... I lost one of them, but I still felt it was much more effective than what I had been doing previously. So yeah, I'm getting a plus one vehicle upgrades just to, just to make those Thors and tanks punch a little bit harder. Should have gotten that sooner. Um, but throwing down a reactor and a tech lab here. I'm not going Marauder crazy. I want a nice little mix. Marines do just such great damage. Um, he's going to come over here. I thought I was okay with these turrets. Should have put one more here. Ah... <sighs> In the future, I will I will remember. Like, you know, I thought he would fly here and try and come in the back, like, like anyone smart. But he he was so dumb that it ended up being smart. You know, not that this is the dumbest angle ever to approach at or anything. It's just non-typical. So yeah, I'm gonna march uh, march the Thor over here, he's, and he's like, "It's over, you idiots!" And uh, the Banshees agree. Yeah, 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 go, go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, doing my thing now. Maraudering it up, making some Marines, getting the tanks. Yaki soba, chicken taco. And, uh, yeah. There's the turrets up now. I don't want to. I don't want to have to leave this Thor here. I want him involved in my push. And actually, he he actually uh, has a little plan here. He's like, where do I take my third? And that's the uh, the big question on Jungle Base. And obviously, most people try to take this mid, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to come try and contain me up this ramp while he expands right here, which is not a bad plan at all. Um, if I wasn't such a bad ass. Um, but yeah, so that's what he's doing. And I think he's a jerk. He's really, he crashed into these minerals and did some severe um, frame damage to those tanks. So, you know, the paint's a little scuffed. That's okay. They'll still shoot. 
My plus one is finished. I, uh, I wanted to start plus two, but I'm. I think I made. I think this reactor. I don't know. I think I went a little overboard. And, Cause, ah, uh, no, I didn't. I just. I'm, I'm still trying to fine tune the really tiny things about this. And right here, I get pretty lucky. Hey, you forgot to seed your tanks, buddy. Uh. So yeah. Um, just being careful, letting the tanks do the shooting. I don't want to commit my. Uh, my Marauders to anything too crazy. I want my Thors in front. Because Thors are really good at absorbing tank shots. This one's going to go down. Uh, but as you can see, this one reinforces. So I'm going to let the tank, uh, the Thor just keep shooting these down. Uh, Thors can take a lot of shots from tanks. I see one more and decide to retreat. I decide I'm going to repair this Thor. Um, I do have to pull back, but he lost a lot more there than me. Um, especially um, his positional advantage. Uh, because, as you can see, he's he's kind of in this, uh, he's just making tanks, and because I went more Raxes, I'm able to refill my army pretty quickly. And he is uh, not, so. I bet he has more CVs than me, because I'm really bad at that. Let's see. Oh my god. Let's never look at that again. <laughs> 18 more CVs than me, so. I'm just really bad about my SCV production. I think... I'm going to try and get into Master League, but it's not going to happen unless I get better at that, because that's just just unforgivable, you know? And he's trying to trying to expand on my third, which is pretty ballsy. Like, he could have expanded over here, secured himself, and we could have had a nice little turf war in the middle, but he just thought he was really cool. And, uh, yeah, just see this key aggression... A lot, a lot of the tendency in TVT a lot of time is to uh, hang back, build, and build, and build, and build. But you, a lot of times you have to keep coming, you know. You have to keep coming, or otherwise a a uh, a crafty Terran will take a lot of space from you. You don't want that, no sir. I can't believe how many more SCVs he has than me. I've made one since I was last embarrassed by that number. I made one SCV. Are you kidding me? Make some damn SCVs. So bad at that. There we go. Yeah. Two SCVs. Anyways. Should be getting my third up here. Let um, me set tanks up here while he gets his uh, third. Jungle Basin gives you that freebie expansion. Uh, you know. I'm not too worried about the back door just because I know his army is pretty immobile. And plus, you know. He's got to kind of come through this turf, and I've secretly... Shh! Don't tell! I've got the Zenaga! Shh! Yeah. And I got the Thor in hold position. He's uh, just deterring me. He's trying to use that starport to get some pot shots off of his tank, which he actually does manage to do right about... In now. And, uh, yeah. So I am forced to move this Thor back a little bit. Not a big deal, but, you know, turret does go up. So that's enough of that monkey business, Mr. Starport. And, and uh, actually, this, I mean, my casual tone and sexy voice is making this, like, I'm going to pause this for a second. It's making it seem very, like, laid back or whatever, but this is a very tense moment for me. Like, I uh, really want to not lose this position because, you know, that would suck. And, uh... If I had known how many SCVs he had over me, I would have been a lot more worried. But, uh, you know, um, I think my army composition's definitely stronger. Because he's just, you know, pure tank. And as you can see, I easily take that out. And uh, my uh, tactics, my, my positioning and whatnot were stronger, despite the fact that he was good at making SCVs. So that's why I'm... Uh, as you could probably tell at this point, going to win this game. So here I am pushing in here. That tank got vaporized, but that's okay. The Marines are living. And uh, I take out these three tanks. Siege up. And uh, yeah, there's a GG from Breezy. So, that's that game. And, you know, just, uh, just to, something to think about. Because I know a lot of the Terran players are like, Oh, TVT. Uh, try and end it quick, you know. Um, try and hurt him early, and uh, if it doesn't work out, just leave. <laughs> That's what I do, because uh, you know.
play it, play it Korean style, man. Just get in there, and get in his face. No, you don't have to leave, but you know what I mean. It's uh, five thirty in the morning. Just so you guys knows, I'm gonna go to bed with your mother. We're not gonna do anything though. We're just gonna sleep. <laughs>